Good morning, Rebbe. <clears throat> now I think uh, we, so yesterday we missed one day uh, of the Sifra Ditsniyuta, so I think they were at uh, page uh, Tav Kuf Tzadi Ches, a number bet. Let me see if my glasses, if my glasses, what's going on here? If I can see this. Uh, here we go. All right, so uh, this says, um, What's the, what's the subject here? The subject is, is that the Sifra Ditsniyuta had said, Yehi uh, Ma'oros B'Shemayim, we had that first. And then it says, then it wants to define Barakia Shemayim, what did that mean? Shalei Dachar V'Nukva, so then this, this relieves the subjugation of the male, or the male, the female becomes, I guess, dependent on the male. But Tzadik Yisad Olam, and now we're in the concept of Tzadik Yisad Olam. Number bet. Oh, okay, so it says, Ubebir o Meshulah the Via Groa. This boy of the Ire Khan, what, what does it mean? Well, excuse me, familiarize myself. What does it mean? But Sadi Yitzad Olam, what does it mean? He says, uh, uh, the Ire Khan, but the Sinus, Etzim, a Gavuros, the Nukva, a Gedera Yiso, the Zer Anpin, Beso, the Zivum. Now, I thought it was the Etzim of the, uh, of the Chasadim. I thought it was Chasadim. Now, I use the word Etzim here. So etzim means the essence of the gavuros are given, or I guess it means the ultimate panemias of the gavuros are given to the nukva at the time of yichud. So what what does she have before that? She had she had the gavuros, but not the etzim. So there's also some aros over there. Shahuva sham that brings over there. Sham Tzad Levayer shall who sowed zivug the nesinus gevuros shall kli the rucha the gemar yunika. So let's let's go over that again. He says what happens in the yichud is the nesinus of the gevuros shall kli the rucha. So in other words, the the original yichud uh, has to make her into a kli, and uh, and then the rucha the gemar yunika. So I, I'm just not sure of these phrases. Uh, he, he said we could we could track it. It's the the gevura that breaks the gevuras uh, of kli and rucha at the time of, of the finish of yunika. Now here, this is very very confusing to me. So now he refines it. He says the hinda beknesis hadas betesha shana shana v'yom echad. This is the entrance of das. Which enters in at this time, so he says that's the that's the end of Yanika. So now reading it backwards, you have to read it back before the eighth time. You have to read it backwards a little bit. So he says uh, he says on the um, with when Zeranpin reaches the le- the the age of nine years and a day. So this is not full maturity, but this is just the beginning of something. He said one is once at that point. He says, "Let's go up." Shahu v'sham tzad levar shahu sod zivuk v'nesinus gevur shall cleave a rucho b'gemar yunika at the end of the yunika stage, which he says is is nine years and a day. He begins that process, and in that process, he's got a concept here of bringing gevuros into the nukva. This is a time of kindness. Behind the beknesis adas b'teisha shona v'yom echad. This is the beginning of the beginning of das. Where now you see that there are gevuras of chasadim, kumbavur be'itzchayim. It seems like there should be a lot more to that. So let's go up a little bit more. What, I got something going on. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Number. Let's go to number gimel. So introducing some other ideas. Where did this idea of the yunika at the at the uh, that stage of putting gevuros into the nukva? Uh, at the time of the Yichud to make her into a Kli and bringing the Ruach in there, but this is all in Kadnas. Rebbe or Yaka, now the Or Yaka, right? Shabir Khan Bebeis of Fanas has two different ways of looking at this. He's Vidlifi Darko now. He says the Ire Khan Beinian Ham Tachasadinin. So what is our subject again? It's Tzadik Yisad Olam. So what's Tzadik Yisad Olam mean? It means it has to do with the concept of the sweetening of the dinim shalun nukva al yedecha yisod zer anpin through the yisod zer anpin. So there's two biurim here apparently. Biur rishon, the first one aleph, shaola shaolam. The word olam he say means what? 
refers to Malchus. Everybody seems to agree with that. Ubir base Sha'olam, who Olam Haze means the world that we live in, not Tachton, which I consider the Malchus of the Malchus. This is what he says of the Peperusha of Rishon in his first parish. Okay, we have a little break. Our sponsor, Hashem Yisbaruch, is giving us the opportunity to learn deeply into the Sifra Dizniyuta. And we have to thank Rebbe here for bringing this Sefer. The whole thing was brought to here, here by him. And here he comes back. Okay, so then we go on. He says, base sha'olam, uh, sha'olam hu olam haza tachno. So what's the difference between uh, olam means malchus, so malchus, I, I'm assuming, means the malchus of Atsia, uh, of Atsilus, and we're talking here about the malchus of Atsia. So in his first explanation, he says like this, what does that mean? The Heinrich Tzadik Yisod, Tzadik is Yisod, so simple enough. That's the first drash. She is so to the malo that his his yisod is up above the yisod is there on pin. It's talking about the yisod is there. But the inyan kiu ma olam he metiko a a a metikos dinaho. This is the sweetening of the dinim of the nukva. Going on, number dalit. He said the old. Now the Or Yaker explains, of course, this is the Or Yaker. We just were in the Or Yaker. He's number down on the Or Yaker. And he said, if you explain the Yisod Olam, it's a Yisod Olam Hazet. And it has to do with the Olam Hazet. In other words, that the reality of this world is maintained. So who is that? Who's the Tzaddik? Yisod, that is Yisod, the Zeranpin, allows this world to continue on. The Zeranpin. Vachal Ketza, how is that? Ki olam kula oved im yisnage betzedek bedini hamalchus. So if the world does not have Zeranpin within it, our world, then it would be destroyed because the medinim and malchus would destroy it Blow Mishpat, where there would be no Mishpat. Mishpat refers to Zer Anpin. In other words, the Ruach has not come into the Nefesh. Kedechsev, Vuhu Yishpo Tevel Betzad Tevel, that's us. Yishpo Tevel Betzadik. The Hind of Shafod Betzadik, that's Zer Anpin in Malchus. So that he wants to say, he said the Hind of Yishpo, because Mishpat refers to Zer Anpin. You have to have Yishpo Betzadik, the two of them together, which is a Yichud of Zachar Benok. Zer Anpin Ima Malchus. The Yehudim Al Yedech Be Yisod Nimsa. So, how do they actually come together? They come together through this Yisod. A Yisod Nimsa Shachar Yisod the Elyon the Zer Anpin. It comes out like this: that the upper Yisod is Zer Anpin. I guess he means the Zer Anpin is upper in, in, in compared to the Nukva. Shuha Hatzadik, who Kiyama Olam Haza. He's the one that is this Zer Anpin, the Pinimius of Malchus. Is what sustains it. So number hey, Rabbi Yafesha, look over in the Yafesha Shabir Khan. He explains here, Shaposav v'tzad the Yisod Oylem Musav al Yisod Abba. Now, so we're moving this Yisod around. It's possible that it, it's all the same thing. It's it, it just depends on your point of view which Yisod we're talking about. So Oylem Musav al Yisod Abba. Excuse me. Vazal uh, Shono, so this is what it sa- what it says. Dechse betzade yisod oylem pirush kasher hamochen the abba veima mislavshin bezer anpin. So this is the time of godless or the time of growth is zer anpin. Mochen the abba haber so he says mochen the abba ayedeh yisod the abba hamezgala minachaza de zer anpin olamat. Now, so. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I understand what he said. I'm just trying to understand what is its implications. And let's read on. He says the mochin dezer anpin clear the mochin. Uh, excuse me, the the uh, the yisod of 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 the of ima from the chaza lamata. It's mizgalin. He says the mochin the abba al yedeh al yedeh yisod the abba al mizgalin. So the yisod of abba. The ataras yisod of abba extends all the way down to the to the yisod of zeranpin. 
המסגלה מן החוזה דזר אנפן על המטה, כי עד שם מחוסך בתוך נאי דאימא כנאידה. So he wants to say that the Yafasha says that יסוד אבא, that the יסוד we're talking about, the tzadik יסוד אוילם, is the יסוד of אבא, who's the tzadik. We have a little Zion here somewhere. Let me see if I can, I can find it. Uh, there's not much on the Zion. He says that, I don't really understand exactly. He says the Lushan is chaser, the chare, that's really missing the explanation of what it means to have Abba Mizgala below the, the, uh, below the chaza of Zeranpin, what exactly that Gilui means. I guess he means he's trying to try to figure out what it goes to. Now let's look on a little bit more, and now we're going to go into number Vav. And uh, but the Vav says, Rebbe Zohar Chai, he says, the Azil Khan the Fidarko, which is what? The Shalit Dacha Venukva, so going back to the concept of the Shlita of the male has to come first. He says, Haider of Azivuk Darasius Kli Bibia Rishaina. So what is this? Again, our subject is what again is Vatsadik Yisod Olam. So Yisod could mean Yisad. It founds it. So he says, he says, the Azil Khan the Fidarko. Again, again, the Shalat Dacha Venukva, Haina Zivug the Sias Kli, but Bia Rishonah. So the first Bia that makes a Kli out of the Nukva. The Zechah Bibir Khan the Sel In other words, it makes space within Nukva to be able to be Kabel. So where does the kli come from? Its root is in the two itrin, which we assume is the chasad and the 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 itrin of the chasad of the gevuros. In das kamavur beetzchaim, he says unshar hanesirim. So maybe I think we're going to have maybe a note we could work on here a little bit. So from this das, he says. Uh, trin itrin, trin kasvin de Eric Anpin. So the two crowns, he says, correspond to the shoulder, the place of the shoulders of Eric Anpin. Now, I'm not sure that I understand that. Let me read again. And so that, that light from the, from the shoulders of Eric Anpin, it goes into the yisod of Zer Anpin. Shuhu so so ha elif lecha shlomo. There's a, a thousand for you shlomo. What's I'm not sure what pshat is, and then he says over here the mehev had rucho benukva la sosa kli kli. So that's again the idea of bringing this elif, I guess, into her, is the concept of bringing into uh had uh, uh bring this nukva into the kli the asal so kli and and makes her a kli. Bezecha b'tzadik yisod olim. That's the concept of the tzadik yisod olim. Shal hanukva. So he's actually he's he found the the he says at the end shal hanukva ki niten ba yisod shal zacher because the yisod shal zacher is put into her v'ruch v'das zacher kanoida and then all the rest flows out of that. Now we have some arichos on these ideas. And let's go back to number Ches. Number Ches said in in our uh, back here at number Ches, it says um, right before that v'shor shakli nimshach matrin itrin. So the question is, kamavur be'etzchayim and shahar nasira over there. There's number Ches. So let's look, and we have a little Ches here. See what we could get out of it. So it says rei be'etzchayim sham v'zal I have trouble with my glasses. I really need another pair of glasses here just to be able to easily look at this. But anyway, uh, uh, I think it is Hadas. There we go. I'm not sure I understand how that is, but the Das, really the origin of the Das, he wants to say, is the two, is the two shoulders of Zeranpin. We probably learned about this, but I just don't remember it. Nimshach koach zera yisod de zer anpin. Koach el yisod de zer anpin. So the two shoulders of Eric Anpin pour in, in some way, into the das of zer anpin. Kadei lemehev achad rucha, in order to place this one ruach, bebeer rishona benukva la sosa kli. Vezecha ruach nikra ben yomim, and then we said we've seen before this idea that this Ruach is called by the name Binyamin. 
So let's go on a little bit more, and we have number test. Now, after number ches up above, it said, he said the hine muachadas trin itrin, that is the chesadim and the gavuros, trin kasvin de erik anpen, and they're the two shoulders of erik anpen, nimshach al yisod the zer anpen, and it pours into there. Shuhu so, which is this aha aleph lecha shloma, which is the secret of this phrase from Shira Shirim, which was a thousand would be for you, Shloma. What's a thousand mean? So he says, um, we have a little a little bit of a blurb here. Let's see what it says. He says, Ha Inyan uh I think that's where we're at Bavur Bishar Ha Gilgulim. Uh Bazel the Shona Badilla Bihine uh Shorish Hadas Ha Hayurid Dera Chut Hashidra, the Hila Yurid Alishte Kisvos Elu. The first it comes, this this Shorish of Das really comes first to these two shoulders, which is the shoulders of Eric Anpen, which is what he said. Vaachar Kach Yurid Ad Yisod Lehimatze Tipa Lahamsia Tipa Sazera. Yeah, maybe I need another set of glasses for this, or just find a figure out a way that I could see it better. So he said, Yorod al Yisod the Hamasiya Tipa Sazera in order to bring about the the existence of this Tipa Zera. So you need to come from a high place, which is the shoulders of Eric Anpen, down into the Yisod that has then carrying <coughs> this Tipa. So since there are two shoulders, and between the two shoulders it's all going down into the Yisod, he says, Oz, Kasev, then it's written like this, Shte Kasefos, Hovros, Al Shte Kitzvosev, Vuhuvar. So he says that he has the two shoulders, Hovros, Al Shte Kitzvosev, which are tied together. I know we had a bit, uh, we had some thoughts about this, uh, probably in the Idras, I'm not sure. Shte Kitzvos, Hovros, Al Shte Kitzvosev, Vuhuvar, and they come together. So we have a little break here right now, and we're at the dividing mark park where we're going to try to get into the next section. So we need to finish this out. Here it comes. Okay, so we're to, we're going to try to finish this out here. Uh, let's see where are where am I? So so yeah, we're on this phrase. Is it, it says shte kisvos chovros. So the two of them, that is, we're talking about the shoulders, come together in some way. And at that point, they come together, they join themselves into the Yisod. But so this is all this tipa that's coming out of Eric Anpin, and then it's written like this, So the Aleph, whatever Aleph means, uh, we know that it means thousand. Maybe the word thousand itself refers to Eric Anpin. So that's coming into the Yisod of Shlo- the Yisod, which is called Shlomo. Yisod called Zavazechu Shalom. This is what it says: a pasuk, a bris ola, bris Shalom. That the bris of Shalom, v'oz ku sod ha elaf. This is the concept of this this word thousand. Ki beis pamim kasef. So if you take the word kasef, I know we had this before. Is five hundred, and heim begematria aleph. So the two shoulders aleph lecha. That's the concept of bringing the shefa that's coming from the shoulders of Zera, of, of Eric Anpin, all the way through down into the yisod of Zeranpin. So I guess we'll stop right here. Today is the eighth of Tavos. Okay, uh, let me stop that.